This is amazing. Now we are going to see about chunking strategies in a RAG application from beginner to advanced level and how to optimize this. So what is chunking? So this is a basic RAG application. So the first step is that the data is getting divided into chunks. Then it's converted to embeddings and then gets stored in the database, that is vector database. The second step is that the user is going to ask a question and any relevant chunks are searched in the vector database and that information is fed to the large language model as context to give a final accurate answer. So why chunking is very important? If the text got split with less relevance, then that is going to produce an inaccurate answer. High quality chunks produces high quality answer. For example, if you have a text like this and you divide this text into small chunks by having a fixed size chunking, like after 50 characters, that is going to break. So you can see the word is not full. It's supposed to be mountains, but it says MO. Similarly, here it should be fascinating, but it says fascinate. So if we divide the text with fixed size chunking, then our large language model is going to produce irrelevant results. Similarly, when we divide the text based on commas or full stop, even those chunks are not going to give us a clear answer. If we divide based on full stops or paragraphs, we might miss the subsequent paragraph if it is related. So how can we fix this? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about chunking strategies. A special thanks to Greg who came up with the different levels of chunking strategy. In this video, we are going to quickly look at that and integrate that with the RAG application. I'm going to take you through step by step on character splitting, recursive character splitting, document based chunking, semantic chunking and finally agenting chunking. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So the first step, conda create hyphen and chunking python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next conda activate chunking and then click enter. Next pip install chroma db langchain llama index langchain experimental and langchain open ai and then click enter. Also pip install langchain hub and rich and click enter. Now export your open ai api key like this and then click enter. We are going to download olama pull nomic embed text and olama pull mistral. So nomic embed text is for embedding. Mistral is for local large language model. Make sure you've downloaded Olama before doing this. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. First, from rich import print, then importing document, chat Olama, chroma, embeddings, runnable pass through, string output parser, and chat prompt template. Then we are defining our local large language model Mistral using chat Olama. Next, we are going to set up rag. So define a rag function. So same like as we've seen in the image, First step, we are loading all the data, that means those chunks in a database called ChromaDB. Then when the user asks a question, it is going to check the database using the retriever function. Then it goes to the large language model and finally we get the output. That's exactly what we see here. First, we are loading the data and saving that in the vector database, that is Chroma. Second, when the user asks a question, we are using the retriever to retrieve the data and then passing that to the large language model. So the first step is the character text splitting. So we are going to define the number of character size and then divide accordingly. Printing that for reference and defining a text. And first we are going to do manual splitting. So defining chunks, defining the chunk size. Next going through the chunks and dividing accordingly. Next converting those to documents. We are converting those to documents because document is the format accepted by Langchain to store the embeddings in ChromaDB. Next we are printing it, that's it. So we are dividing the text based on the number of characters. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py and click enter. And you can see the text got split and it's not even correct. So instead of critical, it says CR and ITICAL is in a separate line. So even in smaller, small, uh, it's a complete separate line. So if we divide things like this based on the number of characters, this is not going to give us an accurate answer. In this code, we manually split into chunks, but we can also do it automatically using Langchain's character text splitter. 
So doing the same thing, but with character text splitter function, converting those documents and printing those documents. Now, if you run, you'll get the same response, but automatically it's divided. One thing for you to notice that using character splitter, when you split like this, this is how it's going to get divided. But when you give overlap, for example, four, then you can see the text getting overlapped. So the more the overlap, then the large language model can identify, okay, this chunk and this chunk are related to each other. So that's when overlap comes. You can modify the overlap here. So this is not a correct choice because we are not going to get a proper result. Next is a recursive character text splitting. In this, we provide characters such as a new line. Then the new line will automatically used as a splitter. So we're just printing for our reference and importing recursive character text splitter. As before, we are defining that. Next, converting that to documents and finally printing the documents. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py, and you can see the text got split. But I want to provide more content. So I'm going to add a file, which is content.txt. So this is content.txt, and it contains more information about Langchain, text splitting, chat GPT, and more. Now going to run this code again and see the difference. And now you saw large amount of data being split. But still, I can see it is getting terminated halfway through. That's because we are defining the chunk size 65. I'm going to increase that to 450, 450, and going to run it. And you can see now it's much better than before. And when the chunk size is more, automatically it terminates and goes to a new paragraph or chunk. So comparatively, it's better, but still not yet optimized. So next we are going to see is document text splitter. So number three, document text splitting and printing for our reference. So first we are going to see markdown splitter from langchain.textsplitter import markdown text splitter. Now initializing the text splitter, now going to provide some markdown data for it to split. Now converting that to document and printing it after splitting. Similarly, we have document splitter for Python. So going to import that. Python text splitter, going to provide some Python text, initializing the Python code text splitter. And finally, we're going to print after splitting it. So now we're going to see document splitting for JavaScript. Same as before, importing recursive character text splitter and language. Language is where we are going to define the JavaScript language. Next, we're providing some JavaScript text to split. Now we are going to initialize JS underscore splitter, recursive character text splitter from language. Here we are providing JavaScript language. Next, I'm going to print that. Print jsplitter.create documents, closing the bracket. That's it. Simple approach. We are going to split based on document. Now I'm going to run this code. Python app.py. Seems like there's an error. It is Python code text splitter. That's it. So I'm going to run again. And you can see it got divided based on document. So here is Markdown, Python, and then JavaScript. So I've given only chunk size of 65 but you can increase that based on your requirement. Now to improve this further, we are going to use semantic chunking before semantic chunking and printing for our reference. In this, we are going to use embeddings. So embeddings are nothing but numbers. So when a text is converted to a number, that means that meaning is given. So to identify if two sentences are related to each other, when we convert those chunks to embeddings, and when we see the distance between those embeddings, then you can identify whether it is related or not. In that way, you can group or split accordingly. That's exactly what we're going to do. From Langchain Semantic Chunker, it's from Langchain Experimental. Next, OpenAI Embeddings, Text Splitter equals Semantic Chunker, and then providing the OpenAI Embeddings model and mentioning percentile. So that means all difference between sentences are calculated. You have other things like standard deviation and interquartile. So based on this also, you can split the text. Next, defining the documents, that is converting those split text to documents and then printing it, that's it. So in simple terms, we are using embeddings to split. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py, and here you can see the chunks. When you have more amount of content, then you can see the power behind this. We can even improve further from here. So how can we optimize further? That's when we have agentic chunking. So the fifth level, is agentic chunking. It's printing for our reference. And there are two types of agentic chunking. We can say as two levels in agentic chunking. The first one is proportion-based chunking. So what is proportion-based chunking? 
It is based on this research. I'm going to open it. So this is that research. And if you come down, there you have the information. So if you provide a chunk, that will be automatically split. But each of this line or chunk can stand in its own and can provide a complete meaning. So to do that, we are going to use a large language model. So previously we used embeddings for semantic chunking, but for agenting chunking, we are going to use large language model. To do that first, I'm going to import all these modules. Next, define the prompt template. So this prompt template is able to handle the proportion based chunking. So the prompt contains those information and we are importing that from Langchain Hub. That's why we use hub.pull. Now next, we are using a large language model that's the GPT 3.5 Turbo. Next, runnable equals prompt template and that prompt template will be sent to the large language model. Now we're going to use Pydantic and define the sentences and extracting the sentences using create extraction chain Pydantic function. Next, defining a function called get proposition. Next, we are splitting based on paragraph that is two new lines. Next, we are going through the split paragraphs and going to extend that. For example, if the next chunk is related to the previous chunk, then that will be considered to create a meaning for the sentence or to create a meaning for the chunk so that the chunk can stand on its own. Finally, we are printing out. So in simple terms, we are dividing the text into smaller chunks and then passing that to the large language model and making that chunk stand on its own from its context. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py, and here is the response. Text splitting in Langchain is a critical feature. ChatGPT was developed by OpenAI. ChatGPT allows for dynamic interaction. So you can see each of this line can stand on its own and it contains a meaning. Now we're going to take this further by grouping these chunks together. If we could group these chunks together, this will provide more meaning and less likely to lose its context. So to group that together, grouping chunk from agentic chunker, import agentic chunker, next initializing the agentic chunker, now adding those text propositions which we created before in the previous step and passing that to this agentic chunker. Now we are printing it for our reference, converting those to documents, and finally passing that to our RAG application, which we created earlier. In simple terms, we are just grouping those meaningful chunks together. Now I'm going to run this code. One thing to note, the agentic chunker is a file, and this is the contents of the file. That's where you define your large language model. You have your prompt. This prompt automatically categorize and group accordingly. This is also developed by Greg. Now going to run this code, Python app.py. And here you can see it's automatically grouping those chunks. So the first, it automatically created a category called Langchain features and then assigning this chunk. And even on the next chunk, it's assigning back to the same category. Then after that, it creates chat GPT development and features and as assigning relevant chunk. And here everything got grouped together. So there's a summary and all the related chunks are in that group. Similarly, we have another chunk and have a quick summary and all the relevant chunks are in that group. This is exciting. Now, when we pass this information to the large language model, you are more likely to get a better answer. This is a more optimized version. And finally, you get a response from the RAG application based on the question we ask. I just thought this will be really useful for everyone to know so I made it short for you to understand. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.